Hi guys, this is Jesse Keim here with some Final Cut Pro tutorials. Um, we're going to start out with the basics of Final Cut Pro. The version that I will be working with is Final Cut 7. That's the newest version as of right now. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's basically uh, similar to all the other versions of Final Cut Pro, so if you're working with an older version, uh, don't be upset. Um, you can basically follow along and everything should be essentially the same except for a few new features that were added in the new Final Cut but uh, let's get into it um, this tutorial is designed to show you guys the basics uh, when you first open up Final Cut Pro what to do to ensure that all your video files audio files are in your correct folder and not lost uh, throughout the computer. So the first thing we're going to do is click Final Cut Pro and you go to System Settings and uh, first thing you want to do is set your video, audio, capture, scratch. This is if you have footage on a camera you want to import it and edit the footage with Final Cut Pro. So you want to click Set and then uh, make a folder whether on your desktop or with an external hard drive I made one in uh, on my hard drive and I entitled it Final Cut Tutorials and automatically it makes three uh, folders that will hold your render files um, capture, capture scratch which is the video files that you imported from your camera and render files if you apply filters and adjust the footage later so we'll choose that. That's that'll set um, all of your video and audio to go to that particular folder. We also have uh, the waveform cache, the thumbnail cache, and the auto save vault. Um, also put those in the same folder. So then you will not lose uh, essential files that are with your project. So once you have all those set, we're going to um, I guess show you the show you guys the basics. So now that you had your capture scratch and all of those things set, um, let's save the project. We're gonna name you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine Final Cut Tutorials, and um, I'm gonna save that in the Final Cut Tutorials folder that I created on my external hard drive, so that we have everything nice and neatly packed together. Otherwise, uh, things can get very hectic and very frustrating if you uh, don't put everything together in the same folder. Uh, say if you're in a computer lab and other people are accessing that computer and using Final Cut, uh, sometimes your, f your files can be saved with theirs and it's, it'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack to find all of your stuff and that could create some tremendous problems down the road. So we set the capture scratch, uh, I save the project as Final Cut Tutorials and then you see here sequence one uh, automatically pops up. That is the the first that's down here, that's your basically what your, uh, your layout is going to contain. So we'll we'll call this, uh, say if you're working on a on a show maybe you would create uh, an intro sequence and then you could create a new sequence which would be uh, the actual show itself so you could have uh, intro and then you can have I guess the body of the the program and then you can have credits uh, if not you could just create one sequence and leave it all the same so we'll call this one I'll just call this one intro all right, so we have that. We have everything set up, everything saved. I'm gonna do a quick Apple S to save the project, and uh, now let's get into it. On your left, we have the browser, which contains uh, if you import footage, all of your files will be over here. Um, basically, all of your assets, video, audio, still images. Um, even if you work with Motion or uh, Soundtrack Pro, you can have those uh, 
files over here and you have the uh, effects tab which will give you um, all sorts of video and audio filters slash transitions generators um, that's basically if you want to make text or shapes um, other various things there's also templates but uh, we'll get into those things later so that's basically it for the browser um, next is the viewer which is in the center that is if you double click on an image or not an, an image or uh, any sort of file it will pop up in the viewer and you can adjust audio levels you can insert filters um, you can also that's audio and video filters and you can also um, manipulate the uh, aspect of the video um, perhaps you want to crop or you want to make it larger smaller uh, increase the speed um, anything like that is in the uh, the motion tab and now moving on to the right you have the canvas um, the canvas window shows you exactly what your final product uh, looks like the canvas correlates down here with the timeline timeline is the uh, I guess you'd say the graphic layout of your uh, final project and the canvas will show you what it will actually look like and um, also down here uh, we have your toolbar has a few tools and we have the audio meter so you can uh, make sure all your levels are the same well that's basically uh, Final Cut in a nutshell very uh, concentrated <laughs> explanation um, you can you can sit here and talk all day about what Final Cut has to offer and, and every little button but that's basically a, a quick version and if you guys want to come back for the next lesson uh, I will be showing you how to import standard definition and high definition footage